Anthony Ferraro and Mancina, two blind guys, collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. This episode is brought to you by E1, baby. This is a timepiece made to tell time not only by sight, but by feel. I love this thing. I feel good wearing it. I wear it everywhere. And right now you can get your hands on one of these things through their special relay program for 60% saving. That's a hundred US dollars for this thing. That's insane. You just have to visit E-O-N-E hyphen T-I-M-E dot com backslash relay. E1 hyphen time dot com slash relay. And these things are refurbished. They're sent in and then uh, made to be more affordable for you. And more also- affordable. And also, Dan, they're sending in the, the when you get these watches, they're sending you the story that yes. comes with it. The time piece. The, say the that. journey this watch has just been on to get to you. These things are amazing. They feel good. They look good. Um, I've had many people. I've had people buy one on the spot when me telling them about mine. The ball bearings that help you tell time by touch. When it goes out of place, all you have to do is shake your wrist, and it locks right back in from the magnet. Shake it. I'm gonna shake it. I hope you can hear. I love that sound. I love that sound, and I love these watches. And thank you, E1. Thank you because today this is very special, you guys. If you want to get a brand new E1 watch, not refurbished, brand new, you can go to E1 and use code for bad eyes. Woo! Fifteen percent off. F O U R B A D E Y E S. I believe that's all caps, baby. That's right. Code for bad eyes and pick out your timepiece today. Start conversations and break barriers. Four. Bad. Eyes. Oh, Tommy should have came with that one. No, he's got the last word. Podcast. Podcast, Podcast oh. dude. <laughs> oh, Tommy gone. I was lost too. I was, yeah, 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 you guys can ride my wave. Couldn't ride it. Everyone else out there knew what I was talking about. Eyes and ears. How we doing? <sighs> All right, Dan. You just gotta drink your water. Fresh water, baby. Feeling the system. Feeling the system. You mean YouTube is, bru- YouTube is brutal. Why? What happened? Just comments on there, dude. Wait, what did you get? What did you get? Nothing too crazy, but just just mean stuff. Dude, what <laughs> time on YouTube? <laughs> this kid, like, so this account posted this comment on my account, and they said this whole, like, thing about, like, or, like, yo, you ain't blind. Like, that's what they said or something, right? And, like, yeah. Just wrote back like very kindly, like, yes, actually, I am in blind since birth, blah, blah, blah. And then woke up next day, had this literally like a paragraph written back that was, I am so sorry. My seven-year-old got a hold of my phone and wrote this (laughs) comment, and now I'm teaching them about blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, my gosh. They were like, thank you for the teaching moment. Yeah. That's I was funny. like, geez, dude, these kids getting a hold of parents' phones and just leaving. I've talked about that one where, yeah, some get, same around the along the same lines of, yeah. He dude, I couldn't imagine my seven year old self like thinking about just going into my, like, grabbing my parents' phone and going <laughs> leaving nasty comments on you. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure most of them are just young kids who are commenting. What do they call them? Trolls? Trolls. Yeah, trolls. Like I posted the one of me shotgun on a beer in under three seconds. Shotgun. And it was like, I knew it was going to be a little borderline iffy with people on there. But yeah, it was just like, just like was dissing the, the filming. And then like, um, oh my what did gosh. the one guy, what did the one guy say? Uh, you're probably going to die by your, by the time you're 50. <sighs> what did you tell you already, you're already, you, already, already 50. you already look like you're 40 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just commented back. Thank, I just commented back. Thanks, I'm 56. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Jokes on them. But yeah. Oh man. Just dude. Stuff yeah. Like no, that. these Jeez, people are dude. brutal on the internet, dude. And I was actually talking about this today with with Tommy Gun. I was telling him like, you know, you got all these like people with their their movements and everything, and a lot of times they're not the ones like they want to make the the conflict about it online mm-hmm. 
but they're not the ones out in the field trying to like make things actually happen. Like them making like we need to do something about like hunger, but they're sitting home cooking right. food and and not giving it to the hungry. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like it, a lot of things. It's just all on the internet, dude. It's a it's lot all of all on the internet. Yeah, a lot and of key and was, it, very few, very few people take it past you know, no, commenting something. Strong thumbs these days, dude. <clears throat> I just found it strange that the comments bar- bothered me that much because like Instagram, yeah. I'm used to it. And like, I just ignore all that stuff now. Cause I kind of went through all that. It's a whole new lane. But for though. some reason, now that it's on YouTube and I'm trying to grow this platform, it's like irked me. I'm like, what, why do I care about this? No. And it's definitely, yeah. um, cause I'm like trying to gain followers and yeah, you're trying so to gain like, yeah. like, like fans, like people in a community, mm-hmm. like build a community of like, yeah. And these people just knock you down. You're like, dude, can't we, like, why do you even have to leave that? <laughs> like, why do you have to go out of your day and like, do you go out of your way to leave a yeah. bad comment? Like, yeah. what kind of person are you? Yeah, that's strange. The other one was I, I did, like, never a, had a thing where I wanted to go and write a bad comment. Yeah, I don't bad. Think- yeah, I was thinking that same thing later. I'm like, I would never go online and say something to just find a video that I come across and then want to comment something bad, especially yeah, I someone I don't know. Yeah. It's very it's strange. It's unreal. very unreal. strange. Yeah. But they just do, I don't know. Yeah. They do it to get the, the response and stuff, you know, I'm assuming yeah. they're getting that feedback, but it's good, dude. Pushing, yeah. pushing the algorithm, man. More comments. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Kelly sometimes look at like really like bothered and like, you know, like, delete comments that people leave like really like uh-huh. hurt, like bad ones because you don't want to like you want to keep it a positive page and stuff yeah. but i'm like you know just let them let them roll dude like let them go let people see like what people want to say and like how they actually are you know it's like Feed i love your thing you dan will literally someone will leave him like a a a, or send him a DM or something, or like comment something negative on his thing, and like he, they would be like, "You're not blind," blah blah blah. And he used to like DM them, "Here's my number, bro. If you want to talk about it, like you can yeah. call me. Like we can have an actual conversation." <laughs> that's like that's dude, that's yeah. Cool. But the Instagram, I can't do that anymore because it's too big. So it's like ugh, yeah, I yeah. I know with it people with screenshots. It's yeah. <sighs> the other funny one I got was I did this long fifty fifty on across the gap at, for do tour mm-hmm. and like oh I dude my, that one blew up didn't yeah, it on yeah like instagram on facebook it did really good or on uh in um one of yours on instagram had YouTube, like, yeah, yeah youtube it did really good but i put my cane down and like push off behind me and like <sighs> some dude like went off like this is oh saying this my. is cheating it's like a canoe paddling um shouldn't be allowed in contests it's like balancing with an extra Just thing or something like that like went off on that i was like oh my god dude yeah and you're cheating you have eyes that work that's what i said i said i said everyone else is cheating because they get to use their eyes and he could somehow i don't remember we just kept going a couple times i was like all right i gotta stop <laughs> yeah, you get it. like when you get wrapped in it it starts taking like a couple minutes out of your day and like, and like yeah, your mental yeah, health you're like dude this person i don't even know you yeah it's a strange world very strange world yeah you're not even like you don't even take time to get to know me but yeah follow me on um, yeah follow dan on youtube what's the name on youtube uh same thing dan the mancino is it across the board crossword facebook is just dan mancino okay i should probably change that but i just haven't i don't know you did the reels Reels been weird lately, numbers wise. I just I, I gotta stop looking at numbers. Yeah. So it, it gets me overwhelmed. I'm like You're well, you got crazy numbers, dude. Now you're at now you're at this high level where you're like, all right, I need to hit this. And, and that's like, the fuck. thing. The the standard for my I dude, I used to be like ten I Yeah, ten thousand views, but yeah, yes. like I mean, <laughs> yeah, I got a K on it. Woo! Now it's like five hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> no, now it's like now right now I'd be stoked to get 500 like uh, th- but listen to us like those numbers are fucking insane, dude. Yeah, it's good. Dude, even 20,000 people. Do you know how many people that is? Like you put yeah. those people in a freaking like a building? Yeah. 
You need yeah. a freaking theater, stadium. Yeah, it's good. What's the stadiums? They're like 40,000 40, people? I think you had 10, 15,000. Oh, they 20, are. 20,000. Oh, yeah. Big That's ones. That's what I mean. Like, you yeah, could freaking. 20, 30. You can pack a stadium with 20,000 people and and yeah. we'll get like bummed out of 20,000 people. Like, <laughs> what so is I, I Kelly checks me sometimes with that and it's a really good way. Like, do you know how many freaking people that is? Like, yeah. It's insane. Like, I don't yeah. know. I got to see. It's crazy. It's a drug. It is a drug. drug. It's a serious drug. I remember the first time going viral. The dopamine, man. Dude, first time going viral. I don't think I slept that night. Like, we were just wired, just up. Like, Watching it go. Uh, dude, just kept refreshing. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? This is like a freaking Coke addict or something. Like, you just need that. Uh, I keep going back. Like, <laughs> couldn't stop, dude. They say, I've heard that uh, the phone has a similar, like, the. I think it's the endorphins or something that go off in your brain when like dopamine. Switch, yeah, Isn't they're dopamine? dopamine. Like when you're waiting for a text and then you get like a text or something or something happens on your phone, like a message, whatever. Like that reinforcement is. Uh, it, it's addictive. kind of they yeah. they say it relates to cocaine, like that drug. Yeah. Like that addiction. Yeah. Same. Cocaine's cool. hell of a drug. <laughs> okay. Hell of a drug. Um, <laughs> I that's why I'm happy to go unplug for a minute in Hawaii. I'm unplug and get you. I haven't unplugged since we started. Yeah, dude. You're gonna come back a different person, man. Uh, dude, I'm gonna be. You're gonna I, come back and be like, I deleted all my apps. Man. Yeah, I'm dude. Just, I, I don't. Social media is bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> one oh, day, man. one day we can completely unconnect. Yeah. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Sauna Mayor was back tonight, dude. The same dude. Dude, I walk in. No. I walk in, right? I walk into the sauna. It's my second time going in. Like, I, I did a cold rinse, went in the steam room after, and then came back to the sauna. Yeah. I walk in the sauna. Right away, I hear, hey! And I'm like, oh, God, no. Hey, you know, you can't see me. You know who this like, no, is. No. He, goes, he goes, he goes, you know who it is, you know who it is right? And, he, and then before I even answer, he goes, you know who it is. And I'm like, oh, no, here we go, dude. And he's like, I was talking about you earlier. Your ears must have been ringing. His ears were definitely ringing. Ah! Like, I was like, oh, my. And then he hits me with. This guy must be like a real like Republican, like hardcore. Like I don't get into politics like that. And he he looks at me, he goes like joking, like to start a conversation. Like I'm on his side, and he's like, "Yes, you go. You're a big, you're a big Biden supporter." I heard. Ah! I was like, "What?" what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I looked. At, I was like, "I don't know, man. Like I don't, I don't." I literally just like didn't even respond. Like I yeah. felt like a dick because like I wasn't really like giving them that like hype. But like, dude, I couldn't do it. It, it was when it, too much. when it comes to politics, yeah, I just stop. It. I just right. stop. I shut I'm down. Not, like, dude, not getting this, into this. This is why I started social media because <laughs> people were arguing over that shit. I was just like, I need something. Else. That is too good, dude. He was in there, dude. I was and hoping. Tommy to said on the way to the gym. Did you <laughs> not, Tommy? But you were like. Dude, I wonder if the mayor's going to be in the sauna. <laughs> the mayor, that's just, what you call him. That's his name now. I just knew he was going to be there. I, I sensed him. Yeah. Oh, dude, he was there. And when Tommy had gotten out and I went in and Tommy wasn't <laughs> with me, so I was alone, dude. So he was he was uh, there and he was just like, you know who it is. And you knew right away, too. And, and he said that after he said, you know who it is, right? And then he goes, yeah, you know who it is. And then he looks yeah. again. He goes, he knows who it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys have a cold? You have a cold plunge there, too? No, no cold plunge. Oh, I wish. No. You think what, Tommy? I think I think he knows that we've been talking about him on the podcast. Uh, dude, Tommy. So <laughs> <laughs> the mayor. You just got to oh. call him the mayor. The mayor, what's up? Tommy got in before me. And, like, the guy came in when Tommy was in there. 
And he's like, oh, you got, you gotta, I gotta put my sweaty butt on someone else's sweaty butt. <laughs> Or something the what he said. I think he was trying to I don't know if he was complaining because that's just how saunas are. Like there's puddles of sweat. Yeah, and there's water too, because people are like rinsing off and then going in. And uh I was mid conversation with with a friend of mine who just happened to be there and I had seen a while we were talking and then he just totally ruins that conversation and it's just it's just rambling like random yeah. random um like He's, riddles. What was the thing he said? He said you could put pig on lipstick huh? or lipstick on a pig. Yeah, I, I didn't understand like what <laughs> like, he meant. What is that joke? That means like if someone's like ugly or something. Oh my like, god, that's, can, that's you can, you can dress them up, but I don't know. No, I I understand I think it's kind that. Of like, yeah, yeah, that is. What but I don't right. understand how that applies to being in a sauna. To oh, <laughs> I don't. He just said it randomly. Yeah, and then he was oh. like rattling off some other like riddles like that. that I, yeah, I, didn't... I thought he was saying it to something that you said, but he was just going. <laughs> no, it was a one-way conversation when he ended. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, dude, sauna guy, that was a good guy. He's back, dude. Yeah. Is he naked in there? Or is he wear a towel? I don't know. What is, is he naked? He's he's one of those loud and proud naked. Oh, guys. dude, yeah. come on, put Dang. it. Put a towel under the like. Come on, man. No, you can do it. You can do it. It's all right. That's that's true. I went to a nude sauna or a nude spot and I loved it. Coed, it was amazing. I got to go wow. for free, I think, because I couldn't enjoy the site. I don't know. <laughs> they just let me do it in Germany in Berlin. Yeah. Let me go to this spot for free. So you're a good-looking guy. Like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Coed nude spot because I couldn't see anyone. They were like, ah, you just go for free. Dang. A lot of. Yeah, it was cool though. We like uh, so many different saunas and steam rooms and shit. It was cool. It made me get comfortable with. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm serious with my body. Like, yeah. As re- like I've always like I was a wrestler and stuff, so I had to always do the locker room and everything. Like, so I had to like shower and change in front of people. But like, you still always felt weird. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, not like weird, but it was just like well, when you're that young. Yeah, yeah. you're you're insecure. Always gonna feel and weird this made me like it like it was like ripping the band-aid off you know you just yeah. do it and it was like it was so with, freeing with actual freeing with actual strange strangers and stuff yeah yeah because you just got a rocket like see that you know you got a rocket <laughs> <laughs> when you were in there <laughs> <laughs> only when I think about it Freaking lot took off, dude. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've never been to like a, a nude, anything like that in public. You ever been to a nude beach? I don't think so. No, never been anything like that. Yeah, me neither. There's, there's one in Jersey. Yeah, there is one in Jersey. This is there. Oh, yeah. we're going, dude. Four bad yeah, eyes go. Four bad. Going to the nude beach. That would be hilarious. Just that would be so out. funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cane like walking around naked with a cane seems so funny to me that would be really funny dude that would be really funny Kelly would love it <laughs> she'd be all about it dude I know no we love that we rode the we rode a tandem bike to that spot like every freaking morning in Germany it was sick in Germany <sighs> dude I had a shitty experience Real shitty experience with Tommy. Today? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. Right, Tommy? That was some shit. Uh, it was some shit. Get into it. Dude, it was shitty. I, I got into right? the shit first. Tommy got shitty first. He stepped in Dude, Delta's so we, poop. Dude, so we get back from the gym and Delta poops along this wall with like a little grass along it. Like an uh-huh. alley wall. And Tommy, like, parked his car, not in, like, the parking spot, just, like, behind our car. Like, I don't know. Just, you know. Yeah. You know it's, a, it's a pain to pull out yeah, of the spot, just, so I just, I just say, screw it and park. And uh, Tommy gets out of the car. He steps in a mound of shit. <laughs> not, a, not a little poop, like a mound. Delta's shit? Yeah. She's had diarrhea the past couple of days. Too. First step out of the car. Past day. I, I felt right my shoe it. sink two inches into the ground. Like quicksand. Oh. And instead of taking his shoe off, 
he proceeds to walk around and we had just gotten Chipotle and we got it like to go, you know, so we're about to go eat. We're starving. Yeah. Shouldn't say that. We were very hungry. And, <laughs> and we, Tommy proceeds to walk around the car. He realizes he's like, ah, I got shit all over my freaking shoe. And Kelly's like up top, like take it off or whatever. Uh, saying whatever she said. And I'm, Meanwhile, I'm like frantic looking for my headphones because I thought I lost them because I just lost my recent pair and had to buy a new pair for the first time in like five years. And then I'm like <laughs> freaking out because I'm like, oh, but not a, I can't lo- lose these. So I throw my Tommy puts the bag of food down because he's trying to deal with his shoe, puts it down. He now has walked shit all over the so it's little rocks, right? Like little pebbles. <laughs> yeah. so it's like gravel. And Little do I know, so I throw my bag down in, like, franticness, trying to find these headphones. I go and pick my bag up. thinking oh, from the ground. Oh, and I, I throw my bag, like, it's like a duffel bag, dude. I throw it over my shoulder, like, on, I throw oh, the, the whole bag, no. not the strap, the whole bag on my shoulder. And I just showered from the gym. And Kelly's like, don't put your bag down. Like, there's shit over there from Tom. I didn't realize that all this had just happened because I was frantically looking for my headphones. And I found my headphones, grabbed my bag, take my it's hand off on the bottom of the bag, dude. I, I smell shit all over my hands. Like, not like a good shit either. Like, this is like a, a loose poop. And it was like, dude, I then proceeded to realize i put my bag on my shoulder like the whole bag where the shit was on on the bottom of the bag yeah and it wasn't a lot of shit it was just enough that i smelt it yeah and and then it smeared on my hair so then i was <laughs> my smelling it in my face dude and like i'm so hungry that i'm like fuck dude like do i eat and i'm like i thought about eating and i literally almost threw up and i was like i have to go back in the shower now and literally wash my hair do all this dude it was so <laughs> shitty that's what you get for not picking up your dog's shit oh i know it was, dude it was for one day poor tommy gets the shit in the stick on that one poor dude. tommy yeah you guys left your dog's shit and he stepped poor in poor tommy yeah Dude, I'm I'm running around the house blind. All I can smell is shit. I have nothing to like focus on, and I just smell poop. And I'm about to like suffocate from the smell of dog. Tommy, how mad were you? They didn't. How mad were you? They didn't pick that poop up. <laughs> well, the the funny part is, <laughs> <laughs> I stepped in it with with shoes that that Ants just gave to me. So, oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Delta's taking. taking. Did Delta like the ever, shoes? Does Delta I, I, ever poop on the cement? Uh, only in New York City. Only, only in New York City when she she hates going to the bathroom in New York City. It's like <laughs> she can smell all the other dogs and it's stuff. Just, yeah. Because they all go everywhere. And she and the the grass, like a dog park in the city, like most of them is just this like depressed, like it's depressing. It's like a freaking brown dirt patch with this like miserable grass trying to grow out of it (laughs) and it just smells like piss dude like yeah and there's rats there's rats that just go through Mm. the park yeah just just feed off the dog remnants and uh so so delta will be like she has to go so bad and she'll like she's been holding it all day all of a sudden we're crossing the street one time she was crossing the street she starts shitting right before we get to the other end of the side like to the other sidewalk and i just i don't realize because she just stops right and and like doesn't won't come and i'm like what the hell's going on come on and then realize she's taking a shit and there's like dude there's so many people walking around the city and then I'm like, Kelly's like, what do I do? Like, I got to pick this up. I'm like, no, we got to go. We got to go. I was like, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do, dude. I was like scared. And she's got to pick that shit up, dude. No, I, it, we did, though. Got him. Kelly always picks it up. Middle of the street. <laughs> In New York City. She just holds it for as long as she can until she, yeah, she and then physically she can't. She just like, explodes, <laughs> dude. She's like, I can't hold it anymore. She's so she's such a little spoiled brat. Dude, my buddy Steve, who I film with, <clears throat> only poops like once a week. What? Once That's or twice not a healthy. week. It's, it's not healthy, we, Steve. We tell him every time. <clears throat> That's dude, You need to kiss. He's got to be joking. Out. 
No, he's 100 percent serious. He'll go like, I think when he went to Puerto Rico for like a week, he like only pooped once for like more than a week, like crazy. I don't understand it. That mean that you're crazy. Your body's at at 100 percent. 100 percent. That's what we always say. You're at 100 percent efficiency, dude. You're doing great. <laughs> but I mean, he, but he like he'll drink, you know at least one coffee, but he'll drink coffees all throughout the day and everything. So it's does like, he drink like, alcohol? Doesn't make sense. He goes on and off, but yeah, he drinks alcohol. You can't drink a beer and not have to poop the Dude, next morning. The craziest one. This was last two weekends ago. He went out all night, was drinking super late, had white castle and didn't shit the next morning. That's the whole next day. Draft beer ended his night with white castle and didn't shit. The, next the whole day. next day? Yeah, it's insane. We need to like, get him that, on this podcast. That literally does not compute. We, we need to get him on this podcast. He's not a human. That's, not. that's if, some if, extraterrestrial if shit. If anyone can eat White Castle and not shit instantly, I don't know, dude. There's something special dude. about you. Well, dude, it, it's not it's just, junk food. It's just superpower. It's not junk food. I don't know. It's not po- And that might be because it's poison. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Dan, I, I think your friend, he's full of shit. He's full of shit. <laughs> and his eyes are dude. turning brown, dude. He's, that's, I, your body must go, you have to go to like septic shock or something. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, he doesn't like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Cause he, I mean, he doesn't eat like, I think he kind of only has dinner. He'll have like a light breakfast, maybe something in the morning. But it just doesn't add up, dude. He'll go like he, a whole week. I want to talk to him. Does yeah. he have evidence? Yeah, like, is he, are you sure he's not messing with you? I'm sure. Everyone knows it. Because then when he does shit, it'll take like 40 minutes. Oh. He'll be in there for so God, long. Unload. Yeah, I wonder I'm how like, big his shits are. <laughs> I should ask. Her. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, man. What else? I, uh, I had something. <clears throat> What you got? Oh, you're gonna tell me. Um, well, Tommy That's is what. Tommy's checking the score, or not the score, but he's figuring out what's his name. Who's hitting the home run? Oh, did Aaron Judge? Did he hit his? Yeah, he hit, figure he hit out number sixty tonight. Sixty. He hit sixty. 60. That's a big milestone. Big Yankees fan, but I guess you have a story about you called in to a Yankees game. All right. So, <laughs> or a radio? Is it a radio station? Yeah. I I know absolutely nothing about baseball. I should start out with that. I don't (laughs) follow baseball. I don't follow the Yankees. I love the Yankees. Like going to a Yankees game. Awesome. Great. great, Yeah. Like the hot dogs. Oh, yeah. That's Cracker Jacks. I don't know if I'll ever go back. Um, Is that the right words? Take me out. Yeah, that's correct. You know, straws. (laughs) You know, straws were invented for baseball games. Do you know that? So people could not take their eye off the game. That's not could, true. You need that's to true. That. Look it up, Tommy, but keep going. Give that a goog. That makes sense because... Give it a goog. That's where it started. So people could not take their eye off the game. All right, so this is the story. Let me get into this while well, Tommy googs that. Oh, all right, so... I actually read that in a in a bathroom magazine, in a bathroom book while I was taking <laughs> shit. Just keep to the shit name. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, learn a lot. Learn a lot on the toilet. But so I, I um, where is it? Oh yeah. So I know nothing about baseball. But there's been this whole like thing going on in in Yankee in Yankee, what is it? Yankee world, Yankee kingdom, whatever the hell it is. Uh, Yankee fandom. Okay. Sure. And there. <laughs> They like so there's these guys Aaron Hicks right is that his name yeah Aaron Hicks and what's Donaldson's first name Josh Josh Donaldson and the the these are uh, narrative what these are players yeah the these NBA? are players and big paid players if I'm not mistaken right yeah they're they're big time yeah yeah these are, these are guys right now or is this in the past they're the hot shit right now okay yeah they're on they're on the Yankees right now playing and. Tommy's telling me about all this stuff that's going on. I was just like, cause I, I love learning about stuff and I'm just asking him all these questions. What's going on with, you know, and he, he's listening to Yankees radio all the time. And he like calls in sometimes just to like mess around and like, you know, talk to, like yeah, 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 the yeah, shit. Yeah. So 
one night I was listening with him and the guy's name was Doug. And this guy was awesome. And so we go, so uh, I'm listening to him and I called in. So the first time I call in, I called it twice. First time I call in, I, I totally blew it. I just messed up. I didn't know what I was talking about. And I, I couldn't keep the conversation going, right? Uh-huh. But the narrative is that Hicks is a bum, right? <laughs> Hicks is the bum, right? Yeah, they, they yeah. both were slumping. They, they, they were both really blowing it for the Yankees. Like, people wow. were pissed. Like, true diehard Yankees fans were calling in like, we got to do something about Donaldson. You know, he's really blowing it. He's, uh, he's yelling at the ref, and Hicks is a bum. Like, people saying this stuff, right? <laughs> the ref, like, the people umpire. call it passionate, dude. Passionate. <laughs> so, I finally, like, I finally prep myself. Like, I'm like, prepping for a freaking like exam like finals and i'm like all right you know i'm studying i got i'm talking to tommy about my talking points and i'm like <laughs> tommy <laughs> pretending like he's the guy and like talking you know he's like that's pretty good so, so i finally got down right like donaldson was really messing up at this point too apparently he did some push-ups and now he's doing a little better in the game but um he and Hicks is a bum, dude. Like, every, that's the main narrative. Like, everyone's calling saying that. That's like you're not you're not a Yankees fan if you don't think Hicks is a bum. And I call in, guy answers right. I got on the queue, whatever. I'm waiting. They're like Tommy from Man Squad, like because it's still Tom. It's under Tommy's name. Yeah, they don't know him though. It's just like that's just what they yell out. And I get on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, um. Uh, what did I say, Tommy? I was like, we got to do something about Hicks. I was like, and Donaldson, I, don't even get me started on Hicks because he's a bum. I don't, we don't even need to cover that. And he's like, yeah, you're right. And I'm like, and, and don't even, oh, no, but first, first, this is what it made it. When I first call in, I'm like, Doug, I just want to say, man, I'm a big-time listener. I, I really appreciate everything you do, man. Like, I know it's really tough out, like, up there, like, doing this stuff by yourself, you know, just keeping it going. You're really doing a great job, Doug, and I thank you for that. Like, we all thank you for that. And he's he's like, thanks, man. Like, thank you. You know, like, a little thrown off, but, like, yeah. thank you. <laughs> and then so I go into my Hicks is a bum and don't even get started on this Donaldson. I was like, Donaldson, all he's got is, I heard some guy say this one time and I was like, I just repeat, I was like, Donaldson, all he's got is his glove. He's not a, he can't swing the bat. He's <laughs> oh throwing God. up the game. All he's got is his glove. And the guy's like, I couldn't agree with you more. And I'm like, and he's, you know, he's really blowing it. And then I start going into, like, you know, I think people are all banging on Donaldson, you know, knocking him down. But, and he's he's yelling at refs. He's arguing with people. He's arguing with the umpire and, and stuff. And he's he's just making a fool of himself. And we're all just yelling at him because he's not playing right. But what about what's going on in his home life? We don't think about that. I was like, maybe he's got something going on at home. And cause him to get, like, act this way. And then the guy, the guy's like, you know what? I never thought about it. I haven't thought about it like that. That's a good idea. That's a good point. And so I got him coming to I'm on the radio for this long, right? And I'm like, and then to just to end it as a kicker, I'm like, so, like I got nothing left, dude. I, I threw out all my. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, hey, you know what, Doug? We got to get back to the Yogi Berra days. Those were the days, Doug. And he goes, oh you know, God. man, I couldn't agree with you anymore. And I was like, holy shit, this guy just agreed with me. So I'm like so high right now because I just like freaking like adrenaline is pumping through my veins. Like I was just on Yankees radio and we're here. Tommy immediately when I hang up, he immediately puts on, like, turns up Yankees radio. Yeah. And the guy, so it finishes, like, because it's delayed, so we hear me finish. I'm like, holy shit, I'm on the radio. <laughs> and then the guy goes, the guy goes to his co-host, he goes, uh, who's Doug? <laughs> and, and then he goes, do we have a dog on the on the air? Like, do we have a dog? <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, I have never been called, I've been called a lot of things in my life, but I've never been called Doug. And he's like, and, and then his co-host goes, yeah, and this guy was acting like he knows you, like he listens to you every day. Like, he's like, they were going on for, dude, they took a two minute bloop, like out of their like regular agenda to talk about how like 
best name, they were. So his name wasn't Doug. No, dude. But the, and then they were like, I, the co-host was like, because the one guy, the main host, was convinced there was no Doug on the radio, and the yeah. co-host was like, actually, we have a Doug that just started. Like he just started like a little bit ago or something. I think he's in the blah blah blah. Like they didn't, they had oh, no man. idea who he was. <laughs> but like, dude, I just unloaded on him, calling him Doug, being so sincere, like I'm the biggest man. He's like, oh my he was God. so thrown off, dude. He's like. I've never been called Doug. <laughs> Where Doug? He's like, what's what's happening here? You just like, started a new I, thing. Then, we got to go onto the radio and keep trying and calling people the wrong names, so dude. How long did go? He, he got. I got him going for two minutes after I hung up about the Doug thing. Doug, dude. The, the, the freaking co-host was like, "Yeah, man, he was acting like he knew you too. Like they were laughing <laughs> so hard, and I was like, oh, I felt like the biggest idiot. Like I was like, I went from this huge smile on my face, like, no, jeez, dude, we he gotta try like, to find. We gotta try to find that clip. Oh, dude, uh, we do have to. Try. I said we gotta like record one. Yeah, and record the oh, next one. Yeah, yeah, really really definitely. I wish we recorded that." But <laughs> what happens is, is you're, when you call in, like you're on hold for so long that eventually you're like, I, you just go about your day. Yeah. And we were, we were going to get ice cream. And then all of a sudden I was like, Oh dude, we're on, we're on. And then it's like, you know, like, <laughs> and you're and, in. Uh, yeah. Doug, what's the guy's real name? Do we know? Uh, uh, I forget. It was uh chris or something i don't remember dude but it was late night radio dude. no it wasn't know, actually that late it was like 10 30. you know where you came up with doug from yes from listening to i told you from listening to the show and hearing doug once oh okay so okay. i just thought everyone was Doug. Yeah. <laughs> they, they have like five or six so different they, yeah they rotate like right. every hour it, like something it's if if the yankees aren't on because when the yankees are on the the play-by-play -play is on the radio but when yeah other than that, it's just, it's just these talk show hosts and it's just people calling in like yeah, yeah. two in the morning. That was yeah. my moment of fame, okay. dude. My yeah, big we one. have like, what do we have? The ticket they call it here is like the big radio one. 97 won the ticket or something. <clears throat> Blew yeah. it, dude. I yeah, try to call in. Wait, so the first time you, you tried, but they didn't use it. Like, no, <laughs> they used it. I just was an idiot. Like it's all live. No, like, the so they, first you said the first time you called. Yeah, they still they used the the first, the first oh, time okay. I called, I was just like, I said, "Don't even get me started on Donaldson." And I was like, "Hicks is a bum," and then the guy just kind of like hung up on me. Like, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what when, he's talking about. When you get on the phone, you're live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's just like maybe three seconds delay on the. Yeah. So they can leap anything they need to or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Called him the wrong name. Oh, dude, dude I got fired up. Like, I do the radio. I gave him the yeah. He <laughs> 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 totally couldn't believe. Like, I I couldn't believe. I dude, I was so heartfelt. Like, Doug, I can't I can't thank you enough for what you do, man. Like, yeah. I'm a big time fan of you, Doug. Like, I listen to you all the time, Doug. Like, in his head, he's like, he a, is he talking to me? Who's he talking to? <laughs> It it works so well, I think, because because Anthony really did a good job of of portraying that he was a true diehard watches every game Yankee fan. <laughs> I right, did, dude. so they didn't they didn't want to cut him off. They uh, no, they let him. They let this was the second time we called. They, yeah, they let that's him. A, yeah, they let him hang on the radio for for a bit, and he got a lot of words out. Dude, I got my airtime, bro. But, but like when 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 he first called in, and he was like, Doug, I just want to say, I've been listening for years. <laughs> Dude. Doug just started, and like, and that confused him so much that like yeah. the next five minutes after of me talking after they hung up on him, they they kept like going back and forth, like like what why like why did he think I was Doug? <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like he knew me for years. <laughs> the co-host was my favorite though, because he came in dying laughing. Like yeah. he was like, he acted like he was your best fucking friend. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god, it was my big moment, and I blew it. It is interesting that he didn't cut you off. Like, well, I'm not Doug, because most of those guys, I feel like, would be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who, who's Doug? 
<laughs> yeah, 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 right. Actually, like, like a like a New Yorker, I'm like who the fuck is Doug? Yeah, talking to? I, I think it threw him off so hard that he couldn't he couldn't even get around to it, and I was just started firing into it. I was saying such nice things. Yeah, and then yeah. I really made him think, dude. Like I was so proud of myself. I was on the fly. The whole Donaldson, we should think about his home life, about what's going on. I was all yeah, on the fly, yeah. dude. I was just riffing, and it worked. It All got I have me. is a glove. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good, dude. <laughs> All he's got is his glove. This was, this I heard was, some old guys say that at like the barber shop or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. My hair or my beard trim. I love all those little I know. innuendos or whatever they're all about. Sports. I know. There's a they're million the of them. Dude. They're the best. Oh yeah, it's his glove, man. <laughs> Oh, Donaldson, don't even get me started, dude. The batter, no, nah, all he's got is his glove. In the outfield, he's just out there staring at butterflies, man. What is he doing? Dude, he's apparently he's been doing push ups, though. He's picking daisies out there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That was, that was a good that was tonight. one. I thought you were going to tell me a story from back and like when you were a kid, you called Oh, no, dude, this was a couple <laughs> weeks ago. This was oh, a couple, couple weeks, weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the AM radio on in my car and, and and I was giving Ants a ride and he's like, Tommy, can we please not listen to AM radio? And then I pointed out, I was like, this is actually pretty funny. Like these are just random people calling in. And then and Anthony was was like baffled. He's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> I was. He got me with yeah. it, dude. He got me. Like, Anybody like, can call like, in? No, dude, just listen. Like people anyone can call in. And I was like, wait, anyone? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you want to talk to them? Dude, I remember we were playing Monopoly one night, just waiting on the queue. Cause I'm just waiting to get on the phone, and it was yeah. after I already got kicked off saying Hicks is a bum, or yeah, Hicks is a bum. <laughs> and then I called back, and when you call back, they put you in the when the guy answers, he's like, "What do you want to talk to blah 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 about? Like, what do you want to talk to Bill about?" And then I say, "I want to talk to him about Aaron Hicks." And and then he, the guy got me, dude. He had my number saved from the last call, and yeah. he goes, "What do you want to say about him being a bum?" And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It is my moments of fame, dude. Yep, he's a bum. Big <clears throat> time. That's yeah. like either a New York slang or an Italian. They call yeah, yeah. My dad used to say to me, he's a bum. He's a bum. <laughs> he's a bum. That's like, I think it's like an Italian thing. It, it's like a classic New York Yankees thing because <laughs> they're yeah. known for having the highest payroll and they, they have some the new The biggest player. bum. They they have some new player who they're paying a ton of money, and then like all the New Yorkers are like, "He's a bum. He's not, <laughs> he's not producing. Hey, he's not in a home run every game. He's a stroke, man. Get this stroke." I out told him we got to get back to the days when we were eating hot dogs and had ketchup stains on our freaking uniforms. <laughs> did you find the straw thing, Tommy? Oh yeah, yeah. did you find that? I'm not really like finding much about. Look up why was the straw invented? You know, the origin of the straw, or origin of the this straw. one, lot, lots of. I can't find the truth about straws. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh I, really? Okay. This is my first Google search on the podcast. That's that's really stumped me because lots of different sites, lots of different. What people, do we gotta uh, find the credible site? Do we have an example of one? Yeah. Are they saying. Um, yeah. Let's go with. Uh, here, I'll just click. What's this. the website? Yeah, I clicked the first. It is PubMed. <laughs> the Onion. <laughs> this is, they're saying the Sumerians invented the straw. The earliest use of straw dates back to the Sumerians, 3000 BC. Then they were yeah, they the Sumerians invented baseball. <laughs> just shut. <laughs> they were playing. They were playing with coconuts and Whoa. sticks, dude. <laughs> All right. So then it's got a timeline, right? So it's like uh, the 3000 BC. The Sumerians used straws to drink beer that they brewed in large vats. Doesn't with- sound like base. Uh, it does sound like baseball. Yeah, beer. <laughs> There's a connection <laughs> with beer. So, so yeah, the- like the what they were drinking beer out of was too heavy. Oh, it was like a vat. Yeah, it was a. It was like a. Yeah, they vat. couldn't tip it. Everybody would like share it out of the thing. Oh, it's have a straw kind disgusting. of thing. It's like the fish bowl at 
college party. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah, hate yeah. that. Oh yeah, Tom, Tommy has this thing where he hates sharing, dude. <laughs> I thought I I was finally convinced to the point today where I thought he just hated sharing. But it, no, he just hates when like I'll be like, dude, let me try your hot fudge on your ice cream. Be, dude, I don't like sharing. <laughs> and like in that voice, he says it like that. So like, and then today he was like going in Seven Eleven before the gym, and he's like, dude, you want a banana? I was like, dude, want to split a banana? He's like, I don't want to share, dude. <laughs> and I was like, do you just hate sharing, dude? He's like, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, do you just hate the act of shit? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. He's like, he's an only child. Because I thought you were just grossed out by like the germ thing. Yeah, that's that's my. That's oh, Tommy's got a peeve for us. Oh yeah, tell yeah. us your peeve, Tommy. Um, on the last episode. No, we talked about it last time. Yeah. Oh, he didn't it. say it on the episode. Oh, you didn't? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eats, oh, that was after. This is a good right, peeve. Right. It's a good peeve because us as blind people don't get to notice this peeve. Yeah, this is a peeve that that kind of freaked me out. This can go under the radar for us. Yeah. Yes. Even my sighted friends, like no one else shares. Of this is just like um, I I don't think I'm a complete germaphobe, but it's you know whenever you buy a can of something like I like today I was buying a can of uh, of liquid death, sparkling water, and you know I put on the counter, and the guy, um. Working the counter goes to scan it and then grabs like palms the whole top of the can. Like, right where you're gonna drink on. Oh yeah. To scan oh, it. get your hands off my can. Yeah. And you know, he's, he's <laughs> it's at a gas station, like he's pumping gas, like you know, he's he's dealing with oh that's oh, he's, he's touching a million things at a million. Oh, people that's touch. disgusting. Yeah. He, at that's least a, grab it from the bottom. It's a legitimate peeve. That is a good peeve. It is strange because, yeah, they probably grab it to scan it. So it's like the best place for them to grab, easiest place, you know? Some people like physically like, to do it, but yeah. mm-hmm. not necessary. But there are some cashiers who do, who, who live in a society and, and grab it by <laughs> the bottom of the can where, where no yes. lips are pressing. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, the stock yeah, boys, think about stock where... boys got to be doing that too. To put them in the thing, they got to be grabbing it from the top. Like, I have recently been getting grossed out by cans though, because think about the can's journey to getting to that refrigerator. I mean, everything. Everything, dude. It was on a truck. It probably probably went through different climates. It probably got a speeding ticket. The, the driver might have been doing meth. I did go through a a long phase because I saw my brother do this when you get a beer at a bar <clears throat> and the bartender opens the beer with their hand, right? So their hand is pretty much touching that whole lip of the beer too. So I would like wipe before oh. I did it. I would like take my shirt and give it a good little. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm like, also not a fan of that either, but I kind of stopped doing that. So... But imagine if you're at a bar and you get a, a draft beer in a, in a, Glass. Those glasses are just and the person palmed it. Did yeah, imagine, it? imagine no. if they just give you. That's like basically yeah, what the cashier's that's the same doing. Thing. Yeah, and they're same dealing thing. with money, and not just yeah. bills, change too. Yeah, money, smell yeah. of dirty coins. Nothing worse. Real metally. Yeah, I hate that. Man, that's a good peeve. That's a really good peeve. I know. You gotta start bringing some sanitizer wipes or something man what do you say do you say you pour it into a cup if they do it you'll find a cup. yeah but then the cup the the liquid's still hitting the, the liquid still yeah it's touching still, the rim and pouring and over pouring the hand. over the germs and some of that stuff is coming you with know, it <laughs> you're getting some gasoline dude you're getting some freaking dollar bills i mean sometimes i just i just leave it and and i drink it like the next day and that's enough time for me to forget enough about time it. yeah but I would just give it the. This probably doesn't work. Give it the shirt wipe, but uh, it yeah, I'll do it doesn't thing. suffice for you. Every time, like, I whatever I'm, I'm like, I, I'm in my head when I'm checking out. I'm like, like, all right, if if they palm this, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak up. I'm gonna be like, hey, <laughs> please don't do that. Let me get a, another one from the fridge. You could, every time, yeah. Every time I, I chicken out, I don't. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I don't want to offend someone who's like, "Oh, my my hands gross." Like, any yeah, hand, they any, are. Yeah. Any hands are gross. Like, Your hands are yeah. gross. Yeah. Was this, was this a pre-COVID thing too? Oh yeah, 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 forever. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> interesting. I'm a I'm a bit of a germaphobe for sure. 
Yeah, you are a little bit. But you don't mind, like, sharing drink or something. Too bad. Yeah, I'm not big, big, big on it, but some things. Like, that would gross me out, but I would just wipe with my shirt and feel yeah, fine, but, but what is that, too? <laughs> not really doing anything. It's just the whole time I'm trying to oh. drink it and enjoy my my soda and my sparkling water, I'm just thinking, like... Yeah. Oh. It depends on what... Like, I don't mind actual dirt. Like, we were skating the park when you were here anthony and june yeah. or whatever and anthony brought or anthony kelly brought out hamburgers for everybody yeah and yeah I would, and i was taking a bite and just setting my hamburger down on the quarter pipe the top of the quarter oh pipe. my god and then i would like go for a run and then come back take another bite and there's like i could you could like, take the dirt like grains of dirt in there <laughs> you know like that doesn't i don't mind dirt itself yeah yeah me neither i i i would do the same but oh, it's like I hate when sand gets in my food. That is the worst. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, ruined. Like really, Even just three grains of sand. I, I feel like I'll break my teeth. When I eat eggs, if there's an eggshell in it, I get. I've not, never like, had that. I want to like. It makes me want to like. I can't eat the rest of the eggs. Eggs, I can't. I can't. It's from a well. shell. Ugh. Eggs, kind of like I can't eat them alone because. The smell is just too much for me. No one wants to eat alone, dude. Well, some people eat the shell for. Yeah. It, it's they do. Milk. Yeah. Yeah, they say to put it in like dog food, like when you do eggs, helps calcium and all that. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do eggs, dude. They'd have to be pulverized to a dust. Once I get that crunched, something about that texture of an eggshell, it like makes me feel sick. I might have too much calcium in my body. <laughs> I don't know why it grosses me out, but yeah, anything else I don't mind. It's like, it's like, yeah, like in an airport, like touching railings in there, gross me out. Any kind of like, uh, you know, like escalator, the rubber on escalator. Oh man. To me, me, that surface feels really, that is so dirty. It feels really gross. I'm fine with dirty things. Just if it's not going on my mouth, you know? If it's not a can, it was on hands. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this, Tommy? <laughs> oh man! Today's episode is brought to you by Clusive. Whoa! You jump! Whoa! That sounded like a real ad. It is a real ad, Dan. Can you tell <laughs> me about Clusive. It sounded like you like came in with it, like we spliced that in. But yes, this episode is. Why did you have to you. ruin the flow? I'm sorry, I did. This episode is brought to you by Clusive. <laughs> Clusive is the first online learning platform designed by and for blind people to help the blind and visually impaired gain employment and make um av- on average one point one point eight times more the salary than the average blind almost person. double no i think the average blind person is making what like five dollars five dollars an hour yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like 28 27 no, but seriously thank you to clusive uh it's it's actually possible for blind and visually impaired to get the right type of training for these jobs online and uh, what else is awesome is 80 percent 86 percent of jobs these days are done on interviews are done online mm-hmm. and inclusive is actually training you to give you the tools to help with those interviews yep how to use zoom how to do all that stuff how to do email how to do a proper email resumes all these things to land a job that can make you want to work at home spreadsheets at can home, get overwhelming baby. they can they can teach you how to do this and teach the companies that reach out to inclusive team up with them and they'll teach your company how to make your workspace more inclusive and work with the bond vision impaired make sure it's a yep. big company with lots of monies and Thank provide you. the training the training the resources to actually train that person in your workforce Thank you for supporting the podcast, Clusive. And if you guys would like to support the podcast, click the link. Click the link, please. And visit clusiv.io. To Get learn. involved. Get involved. Back to it. Yeah. yeah, dude. Those are disgusting, those those surfaces. Uh, you know what else is? A, oh, the surface in a subway, the uh the pole that you have to hold on to those things gross yeah. me out any kind of aluminum metal pole yeah Hand one time it's <laughs> my last flight i got off in uh it was either minnesota or phoenix i can't remember which one but when i got off in the airplane 
in the airport, we get like, there's one of those uh, trams you got to take, you know? Mm-hmm. And I go and put my hand on the bar. The bar is so warm from someone else's oh, hand, too. The warm and I, the one spot on the bar I touched, too. Yep. That's that. That instantly oh, grosses me out. That know? was so fat. And the, remember the warm seats? Like sitting warm in a seat. warm seat. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's gross. Warm seat in a public bathroom. Warm toilet seat. That's another bad Oh, thing. no, I can't. I just can't. I, yeah. I, I, like, do everything in my power to not shit in a public bathroom. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind shit in public bathrooms. No problem. Yeah, they gross. This yeah. podcast just went back to poop again. Yes, poopy, poopy pop. <laughs> poopy podcast. Poopy butts. We don't... have a, um, <laughs> speaking of the podcast, we have a really great question, actually, sent in from J-Bone. J-Bone. We should call him one of these pods, too. He's a big shit. Sure. Um, he oh, asked. He gave, the, sorry, go ahead. What? What? What's up? You remind me to no, keep going. I'll okay. Remember. He uh, <clears throat> he asked us. Tomorrow you wake up, you could see perfectly for twenty four hours. What does your day look like? Twenty four hours of vision. Yeah. What does your day look like? <sighs> I'm just watching porn, dude. The whole. <laughs> <day>. <laughs> <laughs> No, what am I gonna do? Oh, so I dude, oh. skate, skate as much as I can, figure it out. You know what Dan misses most about to see. I'd have to f- fly to California, see my kid, dude. Fly to Cali, one, yeah. Fly to Cali, see Cali. So Stare I at Heather. Up. Actually, I would love. I'd have to see all of my family members. So fly Cali to you. Yeah, either see my kid. Yeah. That's high on the list. Probably number one. Him. And then like the rest, like my All mom. Right, so, I wanna know what so my mom is, looks this like. This is how I picture what you're saying so far. You wake up, you're calling Cali, you're flying him right to Michigan. <laughs> sure, I'll fly him here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. To get him here so you can see all your family. Yeah. Because you have one day. Right, right, right. Yeah, so, all right, I, go on. Go, then you're going to get your family over. Family, mom. I just got to see my mom, what she <laughs> looks like now. Stepdad, brothers, all my nieces, nephews. Um, and then just uh, probably just skate a bunch, try to figure out a million things, you know? Mm-hmm. That would be really strange to skate again. Oh. And I don't know what else I would do, dude. I don't know. There's so much that I would want to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? But you gotta pick. I want to see the pick. mountains too. I want to see the mountains. But well, you live right by the mountains, don't you? Kind no. of. No, no mountains in Michigan. No, like mountains. Well, mountains. Con- oh, like real mountain. Okay, like yeah, to- like, like, like Colorado, yeah. dude. Colorado. <laughs> what did Tommy say? He said it's a landfill. It's a landfill. Yeah, the, the mountains mountain here. Are, yeah. The ski hills are old trash dumps. But what, all right. So, what are you making for breakfast? I wouldn't eat, dude. Not enough time. I would eat not enough time. Not enough time. I kind of did think about that food, but I want to like, look, eh, not really. You need something, though, to keep you not hung, like hangry. So you need snacks. Yeah. You just grab and go stuff. Yeah, I'm not worried yeah, about like, eating. I'm just yeah. looking at everything. Dr- I'd probably drive. I would definitely oh. drive. That's a big one. So why don't you drive to your ma's house? Drive? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Visit everyone. You know, I didn't have my license for the day. I'd still do it. Uh, duh. That'd be scary. <laughs> back on the freeway like oh shit so would you drive to a street spot or would you go know. skate a park know. that you could finally like get live i would just want to do flip tricks and see the board yeah oh okay you know really see what's going yeah. on remember what that feels like just stare at nature dude outside too it just yeah go to your lake go swimming park. open my eyes underwater do it all dude. you think you would need to spend a lot of it alone Ooh, the star like, i'd have to see the stars the other night too we gotta go somewhere clear yeah you gotta end it clear go to the ooper the stars would be sick dude you could end it in the ooper yeah the ooper get a pasty and look at the stars yeah yep well, sunset cool. too would that be important to you oh just every night yeah dude sunset every stay right stay right at the sun <laughs> <laughs> what would you do what's on your list see i th- there's two things that go through my or the first thing that goes through my head is like 
I honestly think that I would be so tripped out because I've never had perfect vision. It would be very overwhelming. It would be so overwhelming. I'd be like, oh, my God, look at the details on this blanket. Like, look at this. Look yeah. at this. Like, Dude, dude, look at the wood grain. Like, I'd be <laughs> so enamored. People think I'd be on acid, dude. Like, I'd be tripping on everything. Like, I know the first thing. I'd look in the up. mirror. Got to look in the mirror. Yeah, you got to look in the mirror. You got to look. Yeah, I'd wake <laughs> up. I'd turn over, look at Kelly, kiss her. I'd make love to my wife. <laughs> so I'd start. But it has to be know. quick. I don't know if you saw her though. You might be like, <laughs> what a mistake. It, 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 it has to be a quick Just love kidding, sesh though, because yeah. you got stuff to do. And then I would, ah, dude, I feel like I would be so tripped out. I get, I get lost at looking at a cup. Yeah. Like I'd be yeah. looking at the grooves and details and things. Like I, I'd look Delta in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd like. Oh, dude, I, I don't even. I feel like the world was. I, oh, I, I, I. No, I'm just kidding. But I like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, but I feel that way right now. Like trying to think about it. I like the excitement yeah. is like unreal. Like so, I would probably, well, definitely, I'd immediately get in the car. I'd just get in the car. I'd drive to the beach, look at the ocean. Mm-hmm. Uh. Like, I just, I, 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 I go, I go, I just picture I go, you, I picture you sitting on the beach and just like a handful of sand just staring at it. I, dude, I would, I would stare <laughs> at like, single grains of sand. I would be it, so tripped out that I could see out of your grains hand. of sand. <laughs> like, I would look at the birds, I would look at the freaking jetty, the waves splashing. Like, I would look at what else would I do? I would go, I'd ride a bike. Just grab an electric yeah. bike. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, electric bike. I would um what else? What else? What else? I would eat sushi because I would be able to see it finally. <laughs> you think it might get you over your Yeah. Your sushi. Um, yeah, yeah. I would I would let's see, let's see. So that's like first half. and then <clears throat> I definitely skate. One thousand percent. Like I'd go to a park because I'd want to like cruise through bowls and shit. Like I would yeah, want to fly really around. Fly, dude. Yeah, I would push uh, through. Yeah, I'd push yeah. through the streets. That's so a good cool. one. I'd yeah. push through the streets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like ride a, a carver through the streets too, like longboard or something. Just cruise like really fast. Yeah. Um. I obviously I definitely go see my family, um, my nieces and nephews, and then. I don't know, like maybe go to New York City for like an hour and run around at see night, city, you know, yeah. like at nighttime. Like I said, I always want to see life at night yeah. and just like I'd rent a sick car. I'd rent a fast car, <laughs> maybe a Ferrari, maybe a Lamborghini. I don't know, but I would, I would just get Delta and Kelly in there and just fucking send it, dude. I'd, drive. Sa- I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd drive as far as I could in 24 hours and just see the country. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know, dude. I'd be so tripped out. I'd be so freaking. I'd be like, dude, I could see a, the blades of grass. Like, <laughs> you definitely get, like that's you'd definitely get in that. You'd get you definitely get an accident because you'd be like staring at something. I, I know. I would. <laughs> I would like. Oh man! Eyes on the road, Anthony. I, Eyes on. I, the road. Yeah. So that's too much to see in one day. Tommy, what would you do if you went blind for a day? Yeah, what'd you do? I was thinking that. I was like, what what if what if you guys just blindfolded me for twenty four hours? No, no, no. What you wake up tomorrow, you're blind. We should do that. For for content. That is great content. (laughs) That is good content. Blindfold a friend for For twenty four hours. Four hours. So I want to play ants and golf and I I want to blindfold myself when we play golf and (laughs) level the playing field. That would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. it's. Uh, what would you do though? You wake up tomorrow, you're blind for 24 hours, but you know it's only pro- for 24 hours. I'd probably just sleep. Wait it out. I was waiting out. Wait it out. Wait it out. it out. I'm just thinking of all the stuff that that I could do without looking, and it's. Like, what if Tommy's answer was I'd just watch porn? <laughs> like that. I just listen to porn. Listen to porn. Wait it out. <laughs> 
Oh man. Dude, yeah, that was a good one, J Bone. J Bone. Oh, I was gonna say J Bone. I talked to J Bone on the phone and he answered my question <laughs> for me. I asked him if he could get Otter because he works is it Coast Guard? Uh no, na- he works in the National Guard. National Guard. And I was ho- hoping he could get a life jacket. He made a point Otter. to tell you on the phone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He he uh yeah, he said he couldn't get it couldn't get a vest. He's not that connected. But I was very grateful that he um I was very appreciative that that he gave me an answer. So I had to give him a shout out. J Bone. Yeah, he said he would have to like switch to the Coast Guard or like Yeah. Sell his soul. In my brain it's all the same and it's I don't want you to sell your soul, J Bone. <laughs> Don't switch the dark side. Oh, was cat. <sighs> um, no, I wasn't talking about switching. I just meant you have to sell your soul to get a. He either has to switch or sell his soul. And you got to do some crazy shit to get a one of those vests. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the dog vest, yeah. <laughs> it's probably on Amazon right now. I, I, Tommy, can you look <laughs> up? I want to send. Yo, look, Tommy, you, see if there's any Google official. Coast Guard. Would it be Coast Guard? Yeah, I think so. Coast Guard dog. Um, life jacket. Life. Yeah, life vest. Life jacket. Life vest. Life vest. But the the Swedes are no, not the Swedes. Is that who do it, did it first? Uh, Somebody did it with the the Newfies first. Where did they breed okay. from? So the life jacket. What did you want me to look up about? Is it available? Like yeah. the like an official dog like Coast Guard life jacket. Can you just buy one? Um, like a like a legit one. You know, not some like made overseas, super cheap with just a Coast Guard iron on patch on it. <laughs> Could have been made overseas. The Coast Guard just just picked it up. It's true. Yeah, dude. In the is. USA, the USA judo uniforms are made in like uh, Taiwan. Or no, they were made in Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. Mm. I was like, whoa, aren't we in war? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they, they no, have a I'm few s- life jackets you can purchase. Like the ones with Coast Guard on it? Like legit yeah. looking ones? 25 bucks at Petco. $25? Wait, no. Does it say Coast Guard on it, though? No. No. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I want like a like the it's classic... What are they red and just red and white? I don't know if you can just buy that online. You then, can't. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Because then everyone would, no way. You put it on your dog and bring it to the beach, and then the coast <laughs> can scoop it up. Like, yeah, you're flying you a false like, flag. No, it's my dog. And like, no, it's it's our dog. And it's then, our dog now. Yeah, it's he's got the uniform on. Good. What's this? What's this article you got for us, Tommy? Oh, Tommy's gonna pull up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. An article we haven't heard. Of we yet. haven't heard this article yet. So, you TikTok, Instagram people might know who the uh, the corn kid is. Um, who is this kid? I've heard of him, but I don't know anything. Uh, I have not heard of this. Uh, like there's a song and it goes, "It's corn, it's so <laughs> magical, it's got the juice," like something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> sounds like TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, it's this kid who who didn't think corn was real and <laughs> wait do we know the origin of this is there like an original video of him talking um yeah i could i could probably find that that would be cool is it is it corn so the backwards k <laughs> no it's it's a corn, dumb, dumb joke corn the food dumb joke. The sorry <laughs> really dumb joke i apologize on that one swim uh you met him as the corn kid. Now he's South Dakota's corn ambassador. Corn. <laughs> what? He's becoming corn ambassador. Corn has the juice. Corn has a viral song. And now the big lump with knobs has an official ambassador. Tariq, the gap tooth kid who captivated millions when professing his love for buttery corn in a viral video has been named South Dakota's official corn ambassador by Governor Christy L. Noem. This Um, is real. So, yeah, let me try to find the video of him. So it's him eating corn and just being, I'm assuming he says it's 
It's got the juice. Juice. <laughs> No, that can't be it. That's the song. All right, yeah, hang on. That's Let me find the song, yeah. Yeah, that sounds bad on here. Yeah. Turn that off. Please. <laughs> Let's cut that. That was bad. <laughs> cut that. But <laughs> what? Oh. I haven't heard of this kid. This kid this kid goes to he lives in South Dakota. He doesn't Thanks. believe corn. How old was he? Seven? Se- seven. Yeah, Some seven. random video goes viral and becomes the ambassador for South Dakota. The ambassador corn. of corn. So someone made like a like you know how people make sounds. Yeah, make songs over stuff. It's hard to find the original. The original. He doesn't have his computer today, and it's I didn't give him time to go back home and get it. So he's we're dealing with just his phone. Yeah, those are all. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll find it in two seconds. Hang on. All right. Yeah. No, no, no pressure. You're it good. is un. It is impossible to know what will go viral. I, dude, the things like that video is it. What people attach themselves to and find interesting and end and up, relatable. Like I, I don't even know if it's real. It's just whatever is like. Entertaining in an in an odd way to just get anything, yeah, and passed on is bizarre. It but, kind of reminds me of the you remember the I like turtles kid. I like mm-hmm. turtles. Mm-hmm. Um, I do remember that. It was like a newscaster and like ask him a question like about nothing to do with turtles and it's some little kid. I like turtles. Should I send? The, the, I found the original. Should I send to your phone, Ants? Yeah. Oh, then you can play it on the yeah. corn kid. What's his handle? Probably original. Yeah. All right. cool. Does he even have a handle, or is it somebody else who filmed the video? Some YouTuber guy filmed it. Okay. I've been in, dude. Damn it, Cena. I've been in. Yeah, he's trying to pull the video of the corn kid. The ambassador. So he's from South Dakota, I'm assuming. Yeah, and he just had this this real goofy video about corn. <laughs> and to, to right. see that it went. I really like corn. What do you like about corn? Ever since I I was told that corn was real, it tasted good. Did you think corn wasn't real? But when I tried it with battle, everything changed. I love corn. Mmm, <laughs> corn. Do you think everyone should be eating corn? No, not everyone has to like it to be the best. Yeah. Everyone just has to try it. Have a bite. <laughs> what else are your favorite things? I play a variety of games. Hide and seek, tag, devil lava monster, yellow Never. people. I mean, and look at this then. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's corn. Look at this. It's corn. Because corn is awesome! Can you describe corn to someone who's never tasted it before? A big lump with knobs. It has the juice. <laughs> the part that mostly makes me like the cone. How much do you think corn should cost? Mandala. I hope you really have a corn-tastic day. A corn-tastic day? Oh. What? It's just a pun about corn. It's a pun about corn. <laughs> wow, that's it. <laughs> If you come to me, I can tell you all about it. Do you like corn? No. Oh my god. Wow. Had... It's got wow. the juice. That it's got, that kid is that's a cute kid though. I was wondering in that when you read the description of him becoming the ambassador, why they said a lump with knobs. I was like, what? A lump with knobs. Described corn Dude. like that, but it comes from. Alright, but why did his parents not let him know about corn until he was seven? I... Yeah, where that one <clears throat> The thing is, it's not being real. I don't know where that. I think that might just be him not. Maybe he's confusing words because. Yeah, that's what I think. Because the interviewer is like, you didn't think it was real. And he's like, he's like, not until I put butter on it. Like, yeah, I think he's confusing words. (laughs) It's hard to say because he he also sounds. He also See, this is the thing. pretty smart, though, because he knew what a pun was. And he made a pun about corn. But then this went viral. Because people were saying that this kid's never had corn before. He never knew what it was. That was right. part of what made it viral. So it's like the internet's so weird because you dig yeah. into it and it's like the kid clearly has 
seen he corn before. Knows that corn is actually real. Yeah, he just mixed the word. He's the ambassador. Up. <laughs> South Dakota corn. And if if you live in South Dakota, like you, you definitely are seeing corn on, on a daily basis. Yeah. Too. And it's kind of messed up. They they call him Gap Tooth in the freaking article. I know. <laughs> That's a little mean. So he's mean. like a little kid who's who's missing some teeth. You know. It's oh, like, okay. His name okay. Is he's just yeah. missing teeth. I thought he actually had like gap teeth. That makes more sense. Um, I I don't know. I I mean, it could be either way. But he's hey, yeah. yeah, it's tough. It's, it's like hard to eat corn without corn kids. Teeth. Now he's viral. Known as the corn kid, and people were making sounds and constant songs to his, like, yeah, it's got the juice or like corn. Oh. Yeah, it's, like, it's corn, it's corn, corn, it's got the juice. <laughs> the couple songs you played did not sound that good. There's more better ones, I'm assuming. Uh, um, yeah, they could have yeah. been. Yeah, the corn kid, yeah, but that's his big break. Yeah, he peaked. Peaked he at seven. Peaked at seven. I don't know. Maybe he he might keep coming with it. I don't know. He needs to become like master of squash. That's what I was gonna say. Just have him try other things. Yeah. Different, I think he's different. for life. I think he's just gonna yeah, sign. He's, he's the ambassador. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, but I don't know if he's getting any royalties. This kid needs corn royalties. He the, needs a manager. The other thing about corn, I think it has no nutritional value at all. It just passes through as corn, solid. Oh, it's the first genetically modified uh, vegetable food. Food in general. The vegetable, yeah. Yeah. How could you call it a vegetable? I think like Native Americans, like, like actually, it's com- combined different types corn. of corn. So it's like considered yeah. the first modified. Yeah. Yeah. No, because uh, I was asking people when I was in Minneapolis. There was uh, they're known for like their native american restaurants and i was wondering like what is native american food i've never had this and someone mm-hmm. told me it's just a lot of different corn dishes uh not just but it, that's uh, the main yeah part of it is a lot of corn based things dude i love corn i do too i freaking love corn. michigan has wish it some, was, wish some it me nutrition. fire fire corn here dude in the fall on the cob it's like, on the cob, it's like oh. you got to get it like at the end, like right about now, end of October coming into here, it's like sweet. Oh my God, dude. It Here's a peeve. Good. Are you one of those people that cuts your corn off the cob? No. Eat it? I hate no, when no. do that. Guilty. Oh, Yo, Tommy, oh, you would. Get him out of here. You would. Get him out of here. It depends. I, I can eat it both ways, but. Ah, oh, just like, come on. Or, or takes the cheese off the pizza and they're not vegetarian or like <laughs> vegan or whatever. That well, reminds me. This. That reminds me of a another small things that I like. Oh, what's that? Are the little? They make little mini corn cobs that poke into the end oh, of a cob of corn. I love those. <laughs> I, I love those. I like those so Dude, much. my mom had those when I was a kid, and I thought I was like a king when I had Dude, those. Dude, I love yeah. Something Dude, because you don't those. have to worry about getting your hands buttery too. It's almost and, like a it's like a fidget spinner almost. The, yeah, way, dude, and the way it like tickles my brain how much too. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's a good thing. Oh, I can't I forgot about those. And some street corn, dude. Like in LA. You had oh, street corn. Oh, I so love cool. street the corn. Butter, parmesan it's, cheese on uh, it. Elote. Elote. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's a ama- dude that's with good. the uh cojita cheese and Probably Sometimes they put the uh, uh, the like the lime and like uh, they'll put like sometimes like cayenne pepper even or something yeah, like tahini or whatever is that what it's called yeah pepper, yeah I think that's what the kid was eating in the video I don't think he was eating normal corn he was some street corn on it and it was it was like county fair corn ah uh, okay yeah, this is a really corn is real dude wow this is like oh, this la- this article this kid has onions to his story there's a lot of layers here I. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it because there's a lot of missing parts. He he's I, he says corn so funny. Does yeah. he have his own account? Corn, corn, uh, corn. probably probably does probably it. now. If I was him, I'd I'd, I'd cash in on this. Capitalize. Well, his parents are probably doing that. Right, he's a little a little small to be running a <clears throat> running the ambassador corn. Um page 
<laughs> oh my god! I hope he's co- shows up in commercials. Yeah, children really of the corn. Hopefully, mm-hmm. he good, hopefully he gets a good. Hopefully gets a commercial deal. <laughs> Advertising. Yeah, I hope corn. he. I hope he starts writing jingles. Big Farm loves corn, dude. So he he might be set. He can he could cash in. Did you say Big Pharma or Big uh <laughs> Big? <Pharma. laughs> Jesus. What am I trying Big to say? Pharma man? does love corn, dude. So I think he's got it. He's good. Big farm, not big pharma, big farm. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Factory. Agri- yeah, yeah. I worked the, on a farm. The Illuminati. I, I uh, my buddy's farm in New Jersey. I used to dude, plant all the vegetables. You did not work on a farm because you don't know what a hoof feels like, dude. It was not. They had goats. <laughs> They had goats and chickens. Goats have hooves. Yeah, well, dude, we oh, dude, the goats sometimes would get over the fence. He told he said. Yeah, we'd have to chase them. There was the one, the jet. one bad, bad yeah. jet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you ever try to? You ever try to catch a chicken? Like Rocky. <clears throat> you ever try to catch a chicken? You ever know? You know from Rocky and like one of the first Rocky movies. No, I wasn't. That's big, like one of his no. training things is to catch this chicken. Yeah, I got to watch those. Hard to catch. What, yeah. kind of, what kind of vegetables did you plant? I planted peppers, squash, tomatoes, onions, potatoes, uh, pumpkins. Uh, All by hand? Yeah. I So we were. Or did you, have, did you have that wood plow thing? No, no, no. ox and like drag that in the dirt? <laughs> no. I always wanted yeah. to try one of those. Yeah, had, uh, we, what we did was we put tarps down in rows. So then, and then every like six inches, you cut a hole in the tarp. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then yeah. you dig a little hole, plant the seeds, cover it. And then, uh, what every five minutes, you look over, ant, little left. Yeah. <laughs> Would it be guiding you, or was it easy to follow? Oh, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It was really easy because we had the tarps. They were lined up in rows. Like, each row was... Um, <clears throat> oh, so it was one strip of tarp that you would yeah. stay centered on that? Okay. Yes, yeah, and the holes, yeah, yeah. you make the holes in the center of that. Gotcha. Yeah, so I would make the... You just make the hole with, like, the little shovel, like the little yeah. shovel. <laughs> you know, I, was, I had my freaking flannel. I got my freaking boots and... A Johnny, Jean- Johnny Appleseed over here. Yeah, I I loved it. It was really good. Like I was going through a hard time, so it was really good. Like antidepressant. Getting Just your hands get, in the dirt. In the dirt, dude. dude. Really powerful. I gotta make a garden next year. Oh, there is something very nice about that. Digging in the dirt. Yeah. Speaking checking of your it, hands in the dirt. Checking it every day. Watering it. Walking through it. Oh, dude, we were walking the dog like two nights ago and we're walking back and there's a guy outside <clears throat> and he has a little garden in front of his house and he just, sc- what did he scream? Oh, what did he scream? Oh, I can't remember. He came on to check his garden and he's like, <laughs> damn rabbits. No, he was stoked that it was time to pick. Oh, uh, he didn't say harvest. Har- no. But he's like, I knew, I knew it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like he was uh, uh, hyped. It was time to pick some vegetables, dude. Damn. Ah, oh, Heather would know. I can't freaking remember what he said. Well, but it was just like picking time. He was he was over the moon that it was that he had vegetables to pick, dude. He, he let the whole neighborhood. <laughs> but gets you hyped, dude. Full bloom, dude. Um. Giveaway. We're doing a giveaway. Ooh, this is exciting. Not yeah. only are we offering 15% or not only is E1 offering 15%, 15% off, off with, with code, code for bad for eyes. eyes. All caps F O U R B A D E Y E S, but we are going to give away free E1 watches, baby. That's right. And I'm wearing mine. We got one we're giving away on this episode. So how you can enter, Dan? Let me know. How do I, how can I enter? How you enter? That's a really good question. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go on your listening platform, where you listen to this podcast. You're going to have to subscribe to the podcast, and you're going to have to leave a five-star review or however, however you feel. It could be any star. Any review. Any review. Any review. And you're going to have to leave a review. 
Yes. All right? Because that helps us tremendously. That's and one we- way you can help, and that's one way you can enter. The other way is sending in your questions to Anthony at 4 and Dan at 4 Maybe put in the subject um, uh, giveaway or something like that. Giveaway. Subject line giveaway. And I want your best questions or themes for the podcast that you want to hear. Yep. And we're going to pick at the end. I, let's give it. Want to give it two weeks, Dan? Or yeah, one two week? weeks? One week. Let's give it two weeks. Let's give it two weeks. So we'll give it two weeks and send in your questions. Go subscribe, like, and uh, leave a review. Leave a review. Yep. And that's one way you can really help us. And you could get yourself. A free E1 watch. Timepiece. Time, sorry, I can't time. call it a watch. I just it's call not it a watch. watch. It's I just call time it a watch piece. Too. It's not a watch. It's which a conversation awesome. starter, baby. It doesn't matter if you're if you're blind or sighted because yeah. the watch is meant for both. That's right. And they're amazing. I love mine. Rock it all the time, baby. I know. So, so yeah, we're giving away. We're not just giving discounts. I actually have two. We're giving free product, baby. I love it. Thank you. I Eli. love it. I love E1 so much. I have two. Oh, you're so lucky. I know. Kelly, this was the first present Kelly, actually first like really nice gift Kelly ever got me. That's a nice dating. gift. It's a it really was a gift. really thoughtful gift too, like for our, my birthday. And the packaging's so cool. You open the packaging, it's got like the whole story about it, the yeah. history behind the watch. And it's made by this guy, uh, the design uh, from Bradley. And uh, he is a... Paralympian. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a Paralympian. Once a Paralympian, always a Paralympian. And uh, he created this watch because he was tired of watches being like, uh, what was it like? Tired of them being just for blind or just yeah. recited because there was no like both. And he made it a conversation piece. It's a, a time time piece. It's so dope, dude. I love it, dude. I feel <laughs> like the face of it feels so cool. Uh, with these like etchings, so you can feel the which, yeah. like, you know, your numbers. You can tactically feel yeah. what time it is, and it's like, I mean, every other like you said, either the watch is for the blind, and it's just like talking to you in this horrible voice. It's yeah, like, you know what I mean. It's just some robotic voice, and they don't, they don't last. You know what I mean? They're just cheap, and they don't make high quality Braille watches either. In my they opinion. don't, I they yeah, don't. now they do. Not like a nice one. This is like a fashion statement. Yeah, I had like, know. I was training. Let me tell you how much of a fashion statement this is. I was training with these guys in New York Athletic Club. These are like uh, bosses. Like they have lots of money. It's like, I think it's like 50 grand just to be a member here a year or something. I don't know. But like Jeez, I got, yeah. I get invited there to train. So I'm really lucky. But these guys are paying big money to take you out to these fancy dinners after practice and stuff. And when I was living in the city, I had my watch when Kelly just got it for me. And this guy who I really looked up to, business guy, like, you know, just gave me a lot of good advice. He looked at my watch. He's, like, he, he's from Italy. He goes, Anthony, where'd you get that watch? And he's like, talking to <laughs> me about it. He's like, that's yeah. a nice watch. He's like, I'm gonna, I, I've am i been looking for a new watch. And, like, these are guys that are into their watches. Like, yeah. you know what pieces. I mean? The watches they call them, are freaking. When, when they call them timepieces when, like, those kind of can be with like, ex- it. Nice yes, time the timepiece. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. This is a real piece. That's what he said, too. He's like, this is a piece. Like, this is real. Real I nice do. Piece. Dude, I feel good wearing it. You know what I mean? I do. It feels sleek. It feels confident. And I know what time it is. And it's really easy to adjust the time just with that little knob thing on it you, yep same as like your standard yeah yeah just like regular watch or timepiece excuse me <laughs> so thank you man. thank you for uh yes. letting us give so away go on throw your throw, your throw your throw uh, your name in the hat get yep. your hand you can on email on this timepiece and get it on your wrist you can email anthony at four bad eyes or dan at four bad eyes or email us both Oh yeah, send an email and yeah, yeah, we should have said that. Yeah, perfect. Oh, we did. Dan yeah. Four bad eyes. Yep. Anthony at four bad eyes. Yeah. F O U R. Don't yes. you forget it. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right, eyes and ears. Tommy Gun. Yo yo. You got anything else before we go? Closing statements. You know, I I remembered um, back to being blind for twenty four hours. My <laughs> my brother was 
was was blind for a few days. Um, he. Whoa. Well, not actually. Well, he had to wear <laughs> eye. Out, Tommy. He had to wear eye patches on both eyes for. I mean, we were we were younger. I think a week at least, five days maybe. Mm. But he. Uh, oh, that's a long time. Yeah. It is. Yeah. What What happened was he. He was. Uh, he, he's sitting light. too close to the TV. <laughs> um, Another bad joke. Damn it, strike two. <laughs> <laughs> he had a surfboard rack on his bike, and he used bungee cords. Oh, he was, no. He had a bungee cord snap back and hit him in the eye. Oh. And oh, so it, it was one eye? It wasn't both? Um, that I, I think Discredited. It was, not, one not, eye is not legally blind. Yeah, the, one, the other <laughs> eye takes over. I don't want to hear this. All right, eyes and ears. <laughs> no, hear me out. Hear me out. I think he got hit. Are you ending it? No, no, keep going. I Good forgot you go. had sound effects here. Stop it. Dan hates him. Roadcaster. This was a while ago, so I don't really remember, but I think it hit one eye. But he had to wear patches on both. Oh, because it would have. That makes sense, actually. It might have. Because yeah, was, he was younger or something. Maybe he, it would have messed younger. up his. Uh... He was probably 14. Oh, so, okay. So I was like <clears throat> eight or nine. Yeah, maybe it would have messed up. It's like equilibrium. The or muscles or like. Oh, of the face even too. Of just like the other eye might have gotten weaker. Because he's using the one for like a full week, you know what I mean? That makes sense. And then he might have had like a wonky eye after or something. So maybe they made him cover him. That's my guess. Not a doctor. Yeah, it sounds like a fabricated story. Five days, though. We got to get his input on that. We got to get his input on how that was. Yeah, I, I totally Yeah, forgot. we do. We need to know about I forgot this. forgot about all that. Yeah, next time. Chris? Yeah. yeah. And, and let us know if we should blindfold Tommy for 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> I'm, I'm fully willing to do that for for quality content you know that would be good but check in with us guys send the uh send the questions we love getting the emails from you seriously if, if we don't get back to you right away we do get back to you so yep Thank we you. love you all we love you um yes and yeah always comment like all that stuff yeah, hit that like. follow button means a lot it means a lot so thank you uh, love you keep pushing one love Pushing and one love from four bad eyes.